Hello and welcome to a Warframe video. In this video I'm going to be, well, explaining, or well, not explaining, I'm going to be showing my, uh, well, my version of my Ember Prime, which I uh, acquired and um, recently. I'm very happy about it. I'm, I, I honestly can't put to words how happy I was when I got my hands on the Ember, the last piece that I needed, which was the Ember Prime, blah, blah, the Ember Prime blueprint. And... Um, yeah, I am having a lot of fun playing as Ember. I kind of feel sorry for all the people. I'm trying to like do alerts and do like missions and stuff to while I level her up. You know, I, I don't want to level her up. Level. I already have leveled her up, but at the time when I got her, I wanted to like level her, uh, bleh, rank her up as like slowly, like take it slowly, do some missions, get to like adjust. Even though I've pretty much built Ember. I pretty much have built and sold Ember like three to four times in a row just because I didn't have enough Warframe slots back at the time so literally I had built like the regular Ember like four to six well no four three four times uh, so now finally the final um, I can finally like put a rest to that and just you know Ember Prime is in my inventory and it, she's never going away obviously and yeah obviously I've uh, put a reactor on her polarized her and built her and yeah she's ready to go also I decided to customize her as well give her a cool look which I think is pretty cool um, don't know how how good her fashion is let me know if you think her fashion is um, is good or if it needs condemning or anything um, I'm just going for that you know like fiery like like powerful look look at that oh with that pose and that that cape oh man I should probably go to like the um the simulacrum no not the simulacrum the place where you take pictures, basically. I could probably go there and like take pictures and stuff. Can I actually do that? Yeah, I can do that from here. Captura. Oh. I mean, I'll, I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but anyways, yeah. So, the way I have her built right now, I'm very happy to have her. Uh, I kind of feel sorry for all the new players who I joined in with because I was trying to like level her up and stuff, so I kind of joined people due to the fact that I am master rank 20 I can pretty much mod her um, I can level her up I can put basically mods I get like what about with with an Orkin reactor I get 40 mod capacity by default so about I think either 40 or 20 I would say I'm gonna go with 40 and um, yeah because you get 20 by default I'm master rank 20 so I get 20 by default then the Orokin Reactor extends that by double capacity, so I gain 40 mod capacity on the get-go without having to unrank with with an unranked item, which is awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, so my Ember currently I only have polarized her once for the sole purpose of um, well, I'm w we're waiting for the nerfing to come, so I kind of wanted to go for a different approach, kind of. Um, my approach right now is just a basic, very basic. I have some redirection for some shield. Um, it's not that bad. She has more shield than she has health. See, if I were to put vitality and max out vitality, I only gain like 740 points. Her armor is decent, but it's, you know, not that really special. And then there is uh, redirection, which obviously I gain 925 shield, which is a lot better. Now, I'm using this build. This is not a World on Fire build. It's actually just a basic build that I decided. I wanted to try out Fire Fright, where when I use Fire Blast, I basically, enemies who uh, are, are caught by Fire Blast are basically, they panic. They go in flames and they panic. They're like running around all over the place, all panicky. No, just kidding. They're just basically staying on, on one put, just, you know, like going, oh, I'm in flames. Oh, no. So, yeah. And um, it actually works pretty nicely. I only have uh, a little bit of efficiency. Surprisingly enough, I only have Streamline on me, but um, my, when I use World on Fire, like it, it, it takes barely like an energy per second. Like it takes very low energy, and that's probably because of duration. It turns out, duration and efficiency for uh, abilities that are like uh, activ activation abilities, where you can activate, activate and deactivate, you need duration for those abilities, and I, and I have noticed that in Valkyr as well. <coughs> oh, I just thrashed my throat. Uh, so yeah, uh, a lot of duration and a little bit of efficiency is Im is more important than having um, like all out, full out um, power efficiency, which uh, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, um, 
this basically is a very it's, it's a very basic build just for uh, I was just experimenting I can also put an Exodus adapter do I even have one of those I probably don't let's check nope I don't looks like I'm gonna have to pivot into Samaris so to get an Exodus adapter I should probably be able to do that probably probably I've also been having fun I've been actually building up the Bratton Prime as well it turns out it's actually a pretty good weapon <laughs> very nicely balanced I would say I would go as far as with the proper build this gun is about as good as a Soma Prime maybe even better it actually hits a lot harder which is awesome currently my build is just very basic I only just started building this thing formatted twice so far and you know just some ba very basic stuff I'm, I'm gonna put some um, uh, Crit chance while aiming. I mean, I, I do like this. I might put argon scope or 25% with each bullet. It's a it's a it's a full automatic. So yeah, I think I'll just go for full out. Like, um, where is the thing? Vital sense to just for that extra damage. And uh, I could put this vigilante armaments for that extra multi shot or. If I'm going for like, or I could just put something else. I could put hammer shot just for that extra critical damage. And I already have just with these two mods, I already have uh, 66 status chance, and I deal a lot more uh, status damage. So I might just go full uh, status chance with this weapon, which is awesome. I also got the glaive prime eventually, so now I can actually dual wield, which is awesome. I can't. How am I showing it? How do I not show it? How do I show it? Anyways, um. And yeah, I've been trying to work this thing, uh, how, to, how this thing actually works, it, okay, yeah, it, it can't kill you, but it actually works pretty nicely. So, well, let's go do a mission, just for, for just for the sake of doing a mission. I'm going to do a, um, something very basic, I guess, with the way I have her build right now, she's actually very good for defenses, so I'll go, I'll do a COD. And hopefully I will not kill myself with a, um, with a, uh, oh, hang on a second. Um, I have something else built as well. What was I building? I was building... Uh, oh, it's just a Snipertron. Oh, okay, never mind. I do have Forma, which I'm building up, which is obviously, I guess... Well, I don't... I always run out of Forma. I'm always out of Forma. Which sucks, but... Oh, oh well. What to do? Uh, Forma just gets consumed like it's nothing. But anyways... Back to this. Let's go to Akkad. Do a, a nice little basic Akkad. I don't know why I, I have Akkad as a default. I guess it's the it's it's the thing that's the most common when when pe when most players want to level up quickly or they want to just get credits quickly. They just choose Akkad. It's like the default known pl place. Well, for if you've at least unlocked some of the junctions back in the day, you didn't have to. You just you know a person could easily boost you, which is how I got most of my nodes. Um, but it's fine. Let's go. Whoa! That boost over there. It's kind of weird using a male operator with uh, a female, but seeing as... I don't know. I do like making my operator uh, a female when I'm playing with a, with a female uh, frame. But it comes to a point where I got bored, you know. And let's say create loadouts for them. Like, you know, you can switch between loadouts with between operator loadouts. That would be actually pretty cool. Um, but anyways, what should I do? So, I guess I could go with this combo, and just try out the, uh, oh, actually, hang on, let's dual wield, let's do some dual wielding. Ember, and dual wielding, and you know what, let's go, some, let's put some fire. So, fire blast, um, fire blast is actually very good for defending missions, especially against infested. It deals some pleasing damage, and also attacks. I always wanted to do this combo, I did use the Orvius as a, um, as a weapon, um, as to do a wield basically before, but I am um, I'm currently using the whoa look at these look at these moves. But I do want to use the Vaker Marlock. I mean, I have a Syndicate proc on this thing. This thing hits by a lot of it deals a lot of damage. How many times did I just miss this guy? Please don't tell me. Um, so I, I have the the basic the Vicar Marlock is really fast at firing and at the same time it also has a very decent damage. So it's kind of like the Lex Prime if it had really fast fire rate. On, on top of that, however, it also has a Syndicate proc, which gives me health, gives me armor, and also kills enemies. It deals blast damage to enemies, which is pretty pretty useful. 
And, uh, you know, yeah, as you, as you know, Ember is not exactly a very sustainable Warframe. Um, so, yeah, I, I actually have talked about Ember for a while now. Let's see if I can do this without killing myself. I'm always scared that I'm going to kill myself with this thing. There we go. Trying to get used to the throwing. Aiming and throwing, using secondaries with... Oh, okay. Oh, he died. How did he die? Oh, slash damage. Okay. Aiming, uh, using secondary functionalities or using like... Oh, shit balls. I hit myself in the face. Um, using secondaries or... Or the melee went with a uh, controller. It's not exactly an easy thing. So I need to really be careful with this thing. The stronger this thing becomes, the more it'll kill me if I, you know. Actually, just dealing slash damage with this thing is actually it's actually pretty decent. I mean, these enemies are. I, I keep forgetting that these enemies are level 38, and I'm just killing them like it's nothing. And I I keep thinking that it's like oh yeah these guys are like low level or something but no these actually these guys are actually level 38 and I'm just destroying them with a level what a level 13 glaive plime why do I keep saying plime instead of prime anyways talk about plummeting in primes so anyways these uh all of these the glaive prime um ember frost loki are still available uh, they're, they're still obviously uh, available in the prime. Um, they're, they're still unvaulted, and you can still farm for them. Um, or you can get them from the trade chat. They're, right now, they are very cheap. All of them are actually quite cheap. So, if you wanna, I don't know, if you're too lazy to basically farm them, you can just buy them for like, uh, I, I guess, I don't know. I literally have seen someone wanting, wanting, like, I've seen people sell the Ember Blueprint for like, what? A hundred? Maybe 50, even, at the very least. I can't confirm that people do actually do that. Uh, I have actually sold that. I don't really know. Although, considering that her nerf is coming, depending on how good it is, her, her price will plummet by a lot. Still, she is a very effective frame. Um, I'm just hoping that she remains powerful. Right now, the way I have her built with her Fire Fright, uh, when it comes to defenses, it's like... It's not that big of a problem. Um, so, I mean, and if I do need my uh, World on Fire, I can activate it, deal some damage, clear the area, then deactivate it, obviously. So, that's good. Oh yeah, there's also an enormous amount of weapon buffs that are also uh, on the ways. I'm mostly interested in uh, Korra, and getting my hands on Korra. You know what? Let's use some World on Fire. Just a little bit. Just a tad. These, I hate these things. Get away. Go. Chew. Luckily, you can destroy them. Which is nice. It would be a lot easier if I had um, Ignis with me, but uh, doesn't matter. Oh, I keep forgetting. Uh, this is how much I love the Vaker Marlock and how useful it is. I keep killing them with the Vaker and keep forgetting to use the, gla the Glaive. Oh, that's pretty much it. I've done it. Oh, well, okay. Um, so, yeah. So let's get out of here. Have some fun. 24,000 credits. I, I guess 24,000 is like the base credits that you get, which is decent. Considering how long it took, it's very decent, considering that. Um, now, as for leveling, I mean, uh, you, you need a full group if you want to gain a lot of experience, because when you have a group, uh, you gain 10 affinity. Your, your affinity is boosted when you're with teammates, so you gain more experience when you are with other people, which is why... It's best to go into um, into a car with group if you want to level up quickly. And obviously, uh, the further you go, the more levels you, the more experience you'll gain, the faster you'll level up. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, um, so this is my Ember. I do like her. She has a cyst on her neck, which is. Can I enter the? Uh, no, it has to be fully grown, right? Yeah, it has to be fully grown. I'm going to remove it. Uh, I could drain it and get. Um, I don't know, something, maybe try to get a helmet. I do have the slot for acquiring uh, another pet, but nah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, currently this is my Ember. Uh, I also have a um, uh, the Firestarter, which is my World on Fire build, which is obviously a lot of efficiency, but seeing how effective, um, seeing how effective, and of course I also have Firequake on her, 
this actually has worked a lot, but seeing as how effective um, duration is, I think um, duration is actually a little bit more important than uh, having efficiency, which is interesting. I may have to like counterbalance my uh, my build, which actually might be interesting. So what I'm going to do is just for like um, practice, just for like okay, here this thing needs to change. I'll remove you because apparently you don't really do that well, and instead I'll put some extra duration. Well, that will make it exactly like the other one. Like, actually, you know what? I'll put some a lot more duration. Um, let's put constitution. I think so, right? Constitution, yeah. Perfectly enough. It's even more duration, so I should have even better. So, yeah, with firequake, some strength. Do I have something? Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anything there. Okay, so what I can do is I need to max out my transient fortitude, but I think this will do. Decent amount of duration, even more strength for that extra damage. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll try this build for a little bit, and I also have the um, this build, which is just for survivability. I've everything is focused on survivability. I do have Prime Vigor, but I wouldn't have to polarize, and like I said, I don't want to polarize her too much, just to you know see how well she works. Actually, now that I think about it, I have Rifle Amp. If I put Steel Fiber, Steel Charge has even more so. So that kind of works. Wow, that actually worked. Okay, never mind. Everything is fine. Everything is awesome. So I'm gonna just go back to my fire starter because I want to test it out and see how it works. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is my Ember Prime. I do love her. It's awesome to have her. Uh, it's amazing. Um, I might make a video of a. I mean, I could make a, a frost video and a lucky video when I get my hands on them. But you know, I guess we'll see. But yeah, this is my Ember Prime build. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I do uh, love her, and uh, I'll try to. I'm gonna. I guess. I, I mean, currently, I'm not really farming for relics that much because I already have most of the things that I do want already. But I'll keep on, you know, look, give it, keep it, keeping it a lookout. But so yeah. Anyways, I thank you for watching. Stay cool. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye bye.